Peace to you all. As you see in the screen today, I have an image or a picture of uh, the lady, her name, Kim Kardashian. Now, for sure, I'm not here to speak about her. Uh, as much I'm going to speak about uh, something connected to what she do. Uh, you know, I don't judge people really, none of my business. Uh, I believe people, they have the right to do whatever they want. Uh, and life is a life of choices. It's a choice you do, what you want to do. Uh, I'm not really interested of uh, Kurdishani news. And I believe it's very silly news for me. However, just last week I heard the news that Kurdishan, she went to Dubai. And the purpose of this uh, uh, trip is to do class, makeup class. For sure she is not the one who will do the makeup class as the advertising was saying, but she will just sit in the chair and women, uh, uh, they will watch her uh, doing her makeup. And I did a little bit of search and I found that if you are a very poor person, the ticket will cost you only $250. And but you will have a very, very, very behind the chair. But what you can do, you are poor. All right. Uh, so if you want a front chair, then you have to pay a couple of thousands. Now, I don't know how silly this is, is but people do spend money for silly stuff sometimes. And again, I am not against women to have makeup. Absolutely not. I believe women, they have the right uh, and they should take care of themselves and look good. But spending money in a silly way, I mean, this is very stupid. However, this is still not my topic. The one who lined up for the class, all of them, they are Muslims. Remember, this is Dubai. And Muslim women, not only young ones, like there is a report I saw in the news, they are saying 60 years old, you know, Muslim women, they are lining up for this and they are paying a lot of money to attend. And this will show us how Muslims in the heart of Islamic countries ignore Islam and they don't care really for Islam. Because many of you do not know that makeup in Islam is forbidden. Before we start about this, let us talk about how Islam look at the women. I made a video just yesterday. Feel free to go watch it and save it, download it, and even post it in your YouTube. Feel free, same as this video. You are more than welcome to do so. All right? Uh, or what you need to do, please just post a link for my page here so people will know where to find uh, uh, Christian Prince. Islam consider women is the reason for every sin in this earth. And she is the devil himself. First of all, Muhammad, he said, if not Eve, there is no woman will betray her husband. Which mean, Eve today is bad because of Eve before was bad. And this is, will show us the, the stupidity of Muhammad because he is confirming something even though we don't agree with him about this but he you know he is agreeing with the original sin by saying because of eve we are out of heaven but he is blaming eve not like in the bible the bible says that adam and eve both of them they commit sin here muhammad is blaming eve she is the evil one and because of eve women today they betray their husbands which means men are victims of women always and women are the evil one for sure this is very stupid and absolutely wrong then we find Muhammad saying the following. If a man of you saw a woman, which means when he say I saw a woman, which means because the story here behind the story, Muhammad, he saw a woman and she was looking at her bum. You know, she have a beautiful, mashallah, beautiful ass. So uh, uh, may Allah preserve her ass. She made Muhammad so horny. So he went to his wife and she was doing, uh, uh, making the bread. So he forced her into sex, or let us say we, he ordered her, into sex and then he came back and he told them when someone of you trying to give him some excuse imagine guys you have guests in the front of your house sitting in front of the house and a woman walk by and the prophet of god could not wait until the guest leave he saw the woman he got so horny he went to his wife he was doing her in the kitchen while his friends are waiting for him outside and when he went outside he said if one of you saw a woman go and do your wife which means you are allowed to stare at a woman 
and enjoy her body to the point until you get so horny and excited and then you go to your wife to do her but look what Muhammad he said about the women he said the women she come she enters in the image of shaitan and she leave in the image of shaitan and this is a sahih hadith for those Muslims Abdul who might say to you this is a week this is very very sahih I can make the page small so we can show you that this is a sahih sahih hadith all right you see it says sahih so we go back now to read it so a Muslim woman she enter generally speaking not only Muslim women Muhammad is speaking about all women here and Muslim women is one of the women Muhammad he said in different hadith the women advance and retires in the shape of the devil so women are the devil and Kim Kardashian is no exception actually Kim Kardashian for Muhammad absolutely she's a devil but trust me he would love to pay tens of thousands of dollars to sleep with her for five minutes mm -hmm. Because as you see, a woman walk by, he is getting so horny. Actually, there's different different uh, 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 place in Islamic books where it says, if the prophet, he saw a woman and he like her, it's a must for hus her husband to divorce her so the prophet, he can have her. And this is exactly what he did with his own son because he liked his wife and she was a beautiful, white, tall woman. And we know that Muhammad is obsessed with the white color. So as you see here in the story, actually, the women, Jabir reported that Allah Messenger, etc. So a woman, and so he come to his wife. So a woman here, it means he desire a woman. He he find her very attractive. So he gets so horny. So he come to his wife Zainab, and this is the same wife which he forced his son to divorce her. She was uh, uh, tanning a leather, and had sexual intercourse with her. He then went to his companion and told them, the women advance in and in re re retreat in the shape of the devil so when one of you sees a woman he should come to his wife for that will reveal what he feels in his heart so Muhammad is blaming claiming that women are the devil and he is the victim of the women you see he is the victim he he is the one who got horny and the women she did nothing she just walked in front of him that's all just for walking in the front of him in the street where the woman she would walk just for walking she did not nothing she is not naked she is not wearing short skirt she is not dancing she is not shaking her bum she is doing nothing just he saw a woman and then he claimed that the woman she is the devil that is Muhammad now we continue in different hadith Muhammad he speak about women doing some decoration for themselves Specifically, we call it part of the makeup process. As an example, Muhammad, he hit the one who do tattoo. I will not discuss that much because this is, you know, I, I, no, even the Bible says don't, uh, you should not do tattoo, but the Bible speak about that because at, the, at that time between the Jews, there was pagans who used to make tattoo have something about their gods, the pagan god. But it's not about the tattoo itself. Same time, Muhammad here speak about if a woman, she take hair from her face, Allah curse her as you see in the front of you so if you take care of him your face you are a very bad disgusting woman if you add attachment to your hair like false hair a wig or attachment to your hair Allah he curse you too and you will go to hell even if you do your teeth Allah will curse you so what left for the women the women always guilty if she do tattoo she's a bad woman if she attach hair to her head she's a bad woman if she take hair from her face she's a bad woman and here I want to ask question for the for the uh, for Muhammad uh, why the women she is a bad person if she take hair from her face do you like to have a, a, a wife she have a mustache Hmm? what is the problem it says the women who, who supply fake hair and the one who uh, ask for it 
the women who pulls out hair from other people and the women etc etc all those women they are cursed by Allah you see it for sure I can show you more reference but this is showing us how stupid the religion of Islam is to the point pulling hair from your face will make you qualified to go to hell in the same time Muhammad he allowed women and he encouraged them to rent themselves to do muta she can get paid for sex and this is not against Islam the Muslim Sunni they will say to you we don't practice this no more you practice it or you don't know you do and then now women they do muta but they change the name for it they say the Shia they do it now the Sunni we don't do it but this is a verse in the Quran chapter 4 verse number 24 pay women wages for enjoying them and we made many videos about it before so look how he contradict himself women they can be sex toys and you pay them wages for opening their legs but women they are cursed just for taking hair from their face and women she is a devil just for walking in front of Muhammad and not only this in different hadith Muhammad he said that the women who wear makeup they are cursed too all right a woman who wear a makeup she is a cursed woman not only a makeup necklace etc you know those things you should not have anywhere any any anyhow especially if you are leaving your house so you are cursed just for doing that which I find it very much hypocrisy of this man because he you know he, he is obsessed with women and he keep marrying more and more and more and he keep having sex with all the slaves he have and if the women is bad why you have many of them if they are the devil as he said before women are the devil but you have many of them why you want to have more of the devil so women are bad Muhammad he said all oh people tell your women not to wear their adornment and show pride in the mosque hmm? so Allah will curse them for doing that but however there's more hadith says that even if you do that in the street even if you if you wear a perfume in Islam you are cursed as we see in this hadith here not only you are cursed actually you are a whore a woman she wear a perfume she is a whore as you see in the front of your eyes the messenger of Allah said any woman who puts on on perfume then pass by people so they can smell her frequency then she is an adulteress what well what's the problem if a woman she smell good and why she became an adulteress she is a whore imagine guys go right now and search actually if you go in the Middle East you will see how you walk in the street one woman walk in front of you the perfume stay behind them for 10 minutes this is telling us none of the Muslim women they, care, they give a damn about Muhammad and his teaching and Muslim men and Muslim women they are number one buyers for perfume maybe in the world and notice here how come a Muslim man he can wear perfume and Muslim women she cannot because if this is about women she is seducing somebody by perfume well how about a Muslim man wearing perfume to seduce others too this is how hypocrite Muhammad and how much he is a man made religion for the man and the women are abused and used as sex toys he have no problem with women putting perfume inside the bedroom for him but you walk in the street with it you are a whore even when he get horny the women she is the whore even when he can do everything she can do nothing that is Islam my friend please subscribe and share the video with your friends and don't forget if you want to learn more about Islam you can purchase my books from amazon.com and just search for Christian Prince and you will see the list of my books in Amazon.com. God bless you and thank you very much.